Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Dirgefang, and today I'm bringing you another Linux Mint tutorial. This is a brief explanation of the Linux Mint Mate and Cinnamon desktops. Uh, first I'll be doing Mates, next I'll be doing Cinnamon, but as you can see, it's a basic GUI interface. You could uh, highlight areas, right-click, create folders, all that good stuff. On the top left, there's Computer. As you can see, there's a file system, which is basically like a C drive. It holds all your... Uh, programs, files, stuff like that. Back out of that. Floppy drive. There's my installation disk. Get out of there. There's the user home. As you can see, documents, downloads, music, videos, templates. Uh, pretty much the same thing as a Windows operating system. Nothing really exciting. Exit out of that. There's the installation disk right there. And now into the um, stuff that doesn't really look like Windows. Now, this is the... Uh, well the plain old uh, default menu that you come to. As you can see, you have your favorites over here. Your web browser will be Firefox by default. Your default mail client cl uh, client will be uh, Thunderbird Mail. Your um, internet messenger, this is basically, um, as you can see, uh, it's a chat manager, so you could use, for example, AIM on here. You could add different uh, messenger accounts. Your media player will be Banshee. Calculator, text editor, sound, terminal, monitor, and system monitor. What this will do, it controls your monitor directly. System monitor will, it's, actually I'll show you, it's sort of like a task manager for Windows. So I'll get out of that, go back to menu, and um, nothing really special right, right here. I mean, it'll show you what's on your desktop, network settings, home folder, computer. Uh, software manager will bring you to a... Um, I might show this actually in a, another tutorial. This will bring you to a page where um, it'll show you a list of programs, quite a big list actually, where all the programs are actually completely compatible with Linux Mint, so you don't have to worry about compatibility or stuff like that. Um, package manager, what uh, Linux Mint does, it basically takes all your programs and it really just renames and packages so you could um, update as you can see, install, remove, upgrade all your software that you install on Linux Mint. Control panel, which is, uh, I'll probably show this in another tutorial as well, but I'll show you a brief glimpse now. It does exactly what it hints at, just really, um, this is like a, well, control center right up here. Um, file management, uh, you could choose your keyboard layouts, I believe you could, yeah, network, Bluetooth settings, folders, additional drivers that um, you might have to update here and there, such as, I believe, graphic drivers, sound drivers, stuff like that. Um, monitor, software manager, nothing really too interesting, so I'll get out of that. Control, uh, just did that one. <laughs> Terminal, which just brings you to a uh, command line, pretty much. Lock screen does exactly what it says. Log out, quit. Um, that's pretty much it for that. What this button does right here, say if I have a my home folder up right here, I can click this and it brings me back to the desktop. So I'll just X out of that. Over here, this is the update manager. So if I were to click that to enter my password, and there we go. I can install updates whenever I want. It's actually downloading them right now. I'll just cancel out of that. There we go. And next on is the sound network, um, have a wired connection, you can set up the wireless as well, and here's a calendar over there. Um, this is it for Linux Mate, next I'll be doing Linux Mate, uh, what am I saying, Linux Mint Cinnamon. <laughs> Alright, and this is Linux Mint Cinnamon. As you may notice, it looks pretty much the same, same way as uh, the Mate desktop, only down at the bottom, it's a little bit switched around, there's a few new things down here. This does the same thing, it's a show desktop. This will uh, just, if you have any programs or folders open, it'll just take you right back to the normal desktop. Um, this is your web browser terminal. This will bring up uh, your files, which I might as well show you. It pretty much brings you to your user folder. Um, over here is the uh, removable drives. Say if you have a flash drive currently plugged into your PC, it will show up here. Um, settings, you can play around with some of the settings. I'll, when it comes to the uh, taskbar down here in the desktop, 
Um, this is the wired network. You could also set this up to be wireless. Your sound and your update manager is right over here. And here's your calendar. Now let's go into the menu. It's it looks a little bit different from uh, the Mate desktop, but I mean a lot of the programs that I showed you in the Mate desktop are all here. So I'm not really gonna go into these since it will get a little bit repetitive. You have uh, some default ones right over here, which uh, the names of these show up on the bottom right right over here. Um, Firefox, Software Manager, uh, Settings. This chat is like a chat program. It, it's pretty neat. I've yet to really play around with it that much, but I'll probably be doing a tutorial on it. Terminal and Files, Lock Screen, Log Out, and Shut Down. And you have another Update Manager right here. Or, yeah, that's currently in administration, but yeah. All right. That's pretty much it. If you guys liked the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys later.